how to better understand human physiology as a system, both in health and disease. Bring together engineers and biologists, as the research consortium Koibok at Tampere University is doing, to develop novel microphysiological models, aka body-on-chip platforms. Currently, we do not have a platform that would mimic human body when developing new treatments. For example, when developing new uh, drugs, so the molecules are first tested with cells and then with animals and typically with either mice, rats or dogs. And if they appear to be safe and effective, then we go to human trials. But humans do not behave often the same as animals and thus we have a lot of good treatments for mice but they are not effective in humans. The biggest scientific challenge is, from the technology point of view, is that we need to solve how to create conditions that mimic healthy, diseased, damaged human tissues and organs in 3D cultures. For example, how to create hypoxic, low concentration oxygen conditions for only one tissue block in a system where we have multiple tissues. In our Center of Excellence, we have a unique combination of expertise on cell biology and engineering. And at the same time, we have sufficient critical mass in all needed scientific areas. So in addition to getting new treatments with this platform, so we could also understand better like human diseases. The human physiology is, is still like quite different than the physiology of other animals and thus like uh, just understanding how human diseases develop. With the help of IPS technology, so induced prepotent stem cells that can be derived from anybody. In my opinion, the biggest benefit is that we can work together. When we are working together, we are having not only one plus one, or like in our case, three plus three, but it's a lot more. And we get things done what we couldn't do alone. We also participate in the societal discussion and, for example, we can uh, help in that that we can uh, diminish the number of animal experiments.